Welcome to Oshkosh's EAA. Please subscribe and enjoy our videos. Hi, my name is Yatsik Duda. I am uh, Director of Engineering for Droid EFB. Droid EFB is, a, is an electronic flight bag running on Android devices. We support any Android device from the recent ones, Pixel 2 XL, or, uh, and Samsung devices, all the way back to very, very old ones. We support Android 4.0 and up. So our software can run even on a Kindle Fire which is a very cheap, inexpensive, but underpowered device. We do everything that a pilot uh, needs for flight. That includes planning, filing, of, uh, getting briefing, filing a flight plan, and then navigating. And then if you have ADSP receivers, like a Stratix one or Duo or many others, we interface with them, and then with those, we can show you extra information. We can show you traffic information, like for instance here. We can show you weather in flight, which these, these are meters that happen, we happen to get in flight. Um, so if you wanted to plan a flight, you would typically start with weight and balance. We provide the entire section for weight and balance. You can define your own plane you can define all the weights, all the arms, all the um, sitting stations, arms for fuel for, and everything else. Once you define your own plane or however many planes you have, you can go to a loading chart and you can basically load the airplane. Uh, say I, ha I weigh 250 pounds, I'm going to fly with a buddy who also weighs 250 pounds. And, one, and when I do that, the software tells you that we exceed the total uh, weight. And we can actually go to a uh, chart and see that indeed at takeoff we're going our cg is outside of the envelope so i am telling my body no i'm not taking you i'm going to take your wife who weighs 120 pounds now we are within a weight limit and everything's okay we can actually double check it on the chart the cg stays from takeoff to landing to total fuel exhaustion stays within the envelope if you if you um if you if the uh, rental company that rents your plane requires documentation that you did weight and balance you can email them the uh, the results directly from here uh, if uh when you're ready to fly when you put let's say let's put let's cancel this flight clear it and let's uh, load a flight plan some sample flight plan so let's say oshkosh 2015. Right. Okay, so this is our flight plan. When you're ready to, um, when you're ready with your flight plan, we can get briefing. We can we can ask Lock, what used to be Lockheed Martin, I think it's called Lightus right now. You can go and ask for uh, for briefing. And if you have an account with them, you can configure. You can give your email address, and then all the briefing records will be under your account. You don't have to do that. And then you can request, you can fill out the briefing uh, dialogue. And once you're ready, you can brief. You're gonna get an official briefing that leaves a record. So you officially briefed. Once you're ready to fly, you can then file a flight plan. This files a flight plan, it's in the system, and you can go flying. When you go flying, uh, let's cancel out of that. When you go flying, well, you obviously want to see the weather. So we get the weather in on the ground through through internet. We cache everything. So let's say, well, we're in Oshkosh, so let's find Oshkosh. K-O-S-H. So this is this is us at Oshkosh. This is uh, our raw meter. We can go to the weather page, and what we do for you, we translate the raw data into English. Not only do we translate, we also calculate certain things for you. We calculate relative humidity, we calculate pressure altitude, density altitude. We also translate the entire remarks section, which is something that a lot of EF EFBs don't do. If you go to a raw meter, it ends with 5300. Nobody knows what it is. <laughs> if, you go, if you go here, you're going to know that this is a pressure change over the last three hours, and it didn't change, and it shows you also the trend. We, we translate TAF for you, 
So there's no more head scratching about what time Zulu it is and what time the, web, the bad weather is going to start and end. We give you Zulu time and local time for all of this stuff. And we can process the last 12 hours of uh, meters. Yes, you can read them raw if you want to, but we can change them into charts for you and show you trends over the last 12 hours. Temperature, dew point, pressure, winds, direction, visibility. It's easy to, to take a look at it and look at look at, uh, at the glance all this weather all of that is cached on the device so even if you fly if you're not flying with any of the ADSP receivers the weather stays on the device so you're flying you're half an hour into it you're an hour into it you have no internet connection you can still go to the weather page and you can still get all of that including animated radar all the pictures that were downloaded from aviationweather.gov all of that stays with you automatically you don't have to do anything all you need to do is you, you put your flight plan and once you put your flight plan we figure out the airports and we download weather for them another feature that we recently introduced we have we have a, um, a part of the software that's called quick weather where you can get a quick glance of at the weather at multiple different airports so here's how it can work. So let's say this is our flight plan. I am now interested in seeing the weather along 10 mile corridor of that flight path. So I can go here and say, add to quick weather, every airport within, within 10 miles of my flight plan, delete whatever, whatever is there already and hit add. Once I do that, I can now do go to quick weather and here's the list of all the airports that are within 10 miles of my flight, flight path and I can see that all of them are in green so they're all VFR. This METAR has already expired. These, me these METARs, are rel they're, not, they're not expired. This is about 45 minute METAR. This is about 45 minute, minute METAR. This, there's about 15 minute METAR. So we know all of it at a glance. The ones in blue have TAF. So if I, if I want to see what the prediction is, all I need to do is tap on any of the airport that's in blue. And I get the same weather page. And I know there's going to be a tap section on it. So I can know immediately, just at a glance, what the weather is going to be. Another unique, unique feature we have that almost nobody else has we can you can take and take notes on any document with display with your finger so let me show you an example i'll take this tablet but you can see it on on the screen so let's say we just landed at huntsville and the uh, ground gives us clearance to taxi right here but tells us to hold short of this runway and then tells us to contact ground on one two six Point nine. You don't need a pen, you don't need anything else. And this note stays with the document until you cancel it. You can do the same notes on any other chart. So if, if you have if you're flying and your ATC tells you you can't enter this area or you have to do something, you can take notes directly on the charts, stays with you on the chart. When you land, we show you the taxi diagram automatically for you. You can taxi safely and with our, you, we have a subscription, subscription level where taxi diagrams and approach plates are geo-referenced so you can see yourself taxiing at an unfamiliar airport. One of the uh, features that we also have is fuel prices. We, we get the data and we show it directly on the charts. It, you can see the fuel prices in either white, yellow or um, red. White ones are the freshest ones, the ones that are less than three days old. Yellow ones, like this one here, is three to seven days old. And then red ones are over seven days old. Uh, so they could, have, they could have changed. If your device is a phone, we can, we can go to the FBO information for the air, an airport. So let's say this airport has $3.89 uh, $3 per gallon. We can go directly to this airport. We can tap on the, air, on the airport information, go to the FBO tab. This, these are the prices as we see them. If your device is a phone, you can expand the, 
uh, FBO information. If you tap on this link, it will dial it for you so you can speak to them directly. Um, and you can, with these prices shown directly on the charts, you can plan your flight um, so that you pay the least for your gas, optimized for gas. Um, if you're a different feature, if your ADSB um, receiver has a harsh gyros in it, like this one, like the dual for instance, we can display uh, your attitude indicator from an AD ADSB device. So this could become your backup attitude indicator in the plane. It's, it's built directly into software. Um, our subscription prices. The first month is free. We don't even ask for a credit card. So there's no issue with canceling. You can download us directly the app from Google Play Store or from our website, which is www.droidefb.com. After that first month, we offer three levels of, sub of subscription. $6.99 a month, cancel anytime for a basic subscription, or $75 a year. Um, it gives you the same subscription level, the entire country, all documents, everything, and it, and it works out to be less than $7 per month. Or we can give you um, a premium subscription that's $150 a year. With that subscription, you also get an entire country and you, also, and you get geo-referencing on um, airport diagrams and approach plates. If you are CFI or active military, you get basic subscription for free and a premium subscription for half the price. So $75 for a premium subscription if you're a CFI or military. Again, the, the, our website, www.droidfb.com.